New information on two police shootings of suspects just hours apart, one yesterday morning, the other last night. The last time Jacksonville officers shot and killed two suspects in one day was in 2009. And we can now bring you more details on the shootings at a Motel 6 on the north side and the shooting at a Mandarin apartment complex. We begin with news for Jack's reporter Eric Avignier, who's joining us live outside the St. Augustine apartments where police shot and killed 18-year-old Dylan Thomas. Eric. Yes, roughly 20 minutes after a woman reported being robbed at gunpoint at another apartment complex, a police officer responding to a bolo drove up to a man fitting the description of the suspect who was walking through the uh, apartment complex uh, parking lot here. Uh, that, uh, and, and at that point, the suspect uh, obviously was later identified as 18-year-old Dylan Parker Thomas. Now, police say as Thomas ran from the officer, he pulled out what the officer thought was a gun. That's when the officer shot Thomas, who still managed to run away. Moment Moments later, a resident called 911 to report a man with what appeared to be a gun laying in the breezeway of one of the buildings. Officers responded to that building and determined that the individual lying in the breezeway was the same person Officer Barry had fired at. The suspect had sustained one gunshot wound to his chest. Officers and a registered nurse who lived in the area rendered medical aid to the victim, uh, to, the, to that suspect, until JFRD personnel arrived and declared him dead. Now, police say upon further inspection of that weapon that they thought was a real gun, it actually turned out to be a replica BB gun. As for the officer who shot and killed Thomas, that officer is now on administrative leave while this entire matter, matter remains under investigation. Reporting live in Mandarin, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.